What's going on with all my billionaires out there? This the guy who's billionaire. Welcome to Hood's Billionaire TV. Big favor, big abundance on today's episode. We're gonna be talking about Meg the Stallion security guard going missing when called to testify. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Um, so Meg the Stallion, um, you know, she's going through this criminal this case right now. Um, in regards to Tory Lanez accusing Tory Lanez of shooting her in the foot. Um, and what it looks like is with all the evidence coming in, you know, I didn't really want to talk on it till I like heard more about the situation, but from the evidence that's coming in, it sounds like it was a drunken love triangle going on between all three of them and something happened where argument ensued, somebody shot somebody. We not really sure. You see what I'm saying? Now, we didn't call Meg lying. Meg didn't lie. She said she never slept with Tory Lane. She looked at the camera. See, when people start lying, I look at them different. I'm just going to just keep it 100. Like, you feel what I'm saying? I always been like a Meg advocate. You feel what I'm saying? I always been a Meg advocate. I always been a Meg advocate. But it's like, um, you know, me being in Houston and being a, somebody who done been in Houston for God, like uh, 15 years is like you know i'm gonna support anybody that come from the city bro i support mig i support sauce i support everybody anybody who come from this motherfucker you feel what i'm saying because i love the city but at the same time it's like right is right and wrong is wrong and meg then got caught lying a bunch of times you know what i'm saying her best friend then got caught lying kelsey then got caught lying you know what I'm saying? Tory didn't lie. They all then told some lies. So I at this point we don't know what to believe. Um, but what we do know is they called in the security guard um that was with them that night to testify and he gone missing and they can't even find him. You feel what I'm saying? So that lets me know that he really don't even want to testify because he probably don't want to perjure himself and put himself in no shit. You feel what I'm saying? But this is a prime example of what I be telling y'all about energy exchange, man. When is y'all gonna fucking listen to me, man? You go back and look, listen to my video with the on um, with trouble when trouble passed away, and I was telling y'all about energy exchange. Energy exchange. This is real. Why do y'all not listen to me when I tell y'all about fucking energy exchange? It's very real, bro. Tori, you fucking Meg, you fucking uh Kelsey, and and there's an energy exchange going on. The Meg's fi Meg's feelings, whatever Meg is feeling, when you fuck her, you're passing those same feelings on to Kelsey. Now I'm not talking about anything sexually transmitted in regards to actual diseases. I'm talking about just the pure energy exchange. You get what I'm saying? When you when you connect with somebody on a sexual level, y'all are exchanging energies. Y'all are literally exchanging energy. This is a scientific fact. Passing those those positive or negative ions to each other. You're you're connecting. And from a from a, on a on an energetic level as well as a physical level, so you having sex with her and then having sex with Kelsey, you're literally and then going back and having sex with Meg. Whatever Meg is feeling, you're putting on Kelsey. Whatever Kelsey's feeling, you're putting on Meg. And that's why this situation is going the way that it's going, bro. Energy exchange is why I tell y'all, bro. Is Look, let me tell you something. It's nothing. If if you want to practice polygamy, it's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong if that's the way that you want to do that. But you just have to be solid enough mentally, physically, spiritually, financially to be able to handle two different women. And I'm gonna keep it real. You gotta be living a certain type of lifestyle in regards to you as a man and how you handle yourself and making sure your moral values are extremely high. So you know how to handle the emotions of two women. Niggas be wanting to fuck three and four hoes and you don't even have the emotional intelligence to deal with one woman. You don't have the emotional intelligence to deal with one woman. So you want to get that up first in order before y'all just going on a free for all and fucking with each other like that, bro. Because energy exchange is very real and that's how people end up getting hurt. 
That's how best friends end up falling out. That's how motherfuckers be ready to kill each other, bro. You literally putting the emotions and the and the feelings of one person and and transferring them into another person. You feel what I'm saying? I mean, I can't speak for everybody. I had my days where I didn't did that, bro. I didn't learn so much and read so much that I understand what's what. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like you have to be mindful of that. You feel what I'm saying? It, I'm just being real. That's just that's just me being honest. You feel what I'm saying? So energy exchange, bro, is very real, bro. Y'all gotta watch how y'all moving on here. You feel what I'm saying? But hopefully they able to get that resolved. I mean, I don't know what's gonna end up happening. They probably gonna end up dropping that because it's just too much going on. You feel what I'm saying? In regards to that case, but whatever it is, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying. Let this be a lesson to y'all. Energy exchange, bro energy exchange man you feel what i'm saying be mindful of that you feel what i'm saying but y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments man this the guy who is being our big favor big abundance don't forget to like share subscribe like share subscribe this the guy who is being our big favor big abundance i'm gone